it's Dark Blade here with another demo for you. Today's episode is the first of like a mini series about starting your, your Batman miniatures from scratch. Over the next few episodes, um, I'll be covering like preparation work, uh, then we'll move on to basing and priming, and then finally onto the good stuff, the painting. Um, for this mini series, I'll be using a new version of Two Face. Um, I love this sculpt. Um, I think Night Models are really up their game with all these uh, second edition stuff so far. It's, oh, it's lovely. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's crack on. All right, so first things first, um, a few of the things that you might find useful. Um, if you can get hold of one of these, um, I know a lot of people like the, the Exacto Craft Nice, but um, these are amazing. You can pick up blades that are quite cheap. I think the, the, the actual handles are only about three quid. You get them off eBay, um, but you know they're really quality stuff. If you get a couple and then just um, of different blades so this is good for like flat surfaces and obviously the curved blade is for curved surfaces uh, moving on to needle files if you can pick up a pack you, know, you get um, this is a uh, if you can see that that's a flat edge one this one's got a slight curve on one side and then flat on the other that's good for getting into difficult areas and if you've got folds on your say trousers or stuff like that on um, on two face here you can see like little folds and things these are quite good for getting into the grooves and it, it you know if you use like a, a flat file on that you're going to lose all your details so use a curved one and it should come out quite nicely then the other thing because we're working on uh, this well, it's, it's, I, don't, I don't know if it's a resin or not. It's, it's like a, a plasticky kind of resin. But what I find useful is this stuff here. If you can get hold of this stuff, um, it's like really fine sandpaper. And it's great for smoothing down surfaces, particularly on suits and stuff like that. And what I do is I'll, I'll cut a strip off it and I'll just use that to smooth down you know, certain areas. And it gives a lovely finish then instead of you know if you if you do some work with a needle file to start with if it's quite coarse you can you can break it down to quite a thin like mold line um if you can't if you can still see the mold line use the sandpaper and that'll get rid of it and it'll give a lovely smooth finish so okay so another bit you might need is a pair of clippers um these are good for you know, getting rid of the uh, the excess plastic on your sprue, so you just give it a clip there, and a clip there, and you can trim off trim off the excess with your knife. Then to give you a flat surface to work with. But once you've done all that, you'll be ready to base. So we'll, we'll move on to that now. So I just grab your base. I'm a fussy bugger, so I'll, I'll check around the outside. Sometimes you get like a, an overlap and a, a little lip. I'll get rid of that using a knife. Um, scrape it away so you've got a nice smooth finish. As I say, you don't have to do this, but I am fussy and I like a smooth edge to the base. There you go. Always check that he fits in there, which he does. Always check both directions, see if the feet fit because of the rocks on the bases sometimes the feet will overlap the rocks and what you need to do then is to trim out the actual surface of the rock so it's flat and then you get a nice position then to to sit the miniature in the slot so i'll glue this off camera and i'll come back 
Okay, so two faces based. You'll see from one of the previous videos where we did, uh, you know, um, working on your bases that I've gone through the same process using a filler and added some stones just to make one continuous surface um, for us to work with so we've got no, you know, visible gaps between the slot and the tab of the miniature. Um, what I'll do is I'll go out to the garage and prime that black and then that will be the end of this video. So we'll come back in another one with uh, zenithal priming um, and we'll go through the process and show you how to do that. So um, yeah, thanks for that. If um, if you like the video, hit like, um, subscribe to the channel, that'll be amazing. And I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.